Hi, this is MC Serti for a very special series uh, Memories in the Past. This is 1.6.4. It's one of the it's actually the first big uh, modded uh, let's play uh, not really let's play because I didn't broadcast it but uh, play that I had with modded Minecraft. It's 1.6.4 as I already said, so it's pretty old. But it's it was fun. I've spent a lot of time on it, so let's go visit. I had some trouble getting many of these uh, worlds to work. Um, some were not with, were done with other launchers or the vanilla launcher, but I managed to get it right most of the time. So, uh, well, there are plenty of mods in this one, like Tomcraft. Uh, enhanced portals. None of my mods, of course. I didn't mod in 1.6.4 yet. So, Metallurgy. Um, so, this was my first base. I started here. And later on, I moved to. What's that direction? Moved to there. I will show you that in a moment. Yeah, that's a teleporter from Enhanced Portals. So, let's go down if I can. Yeah, like that. And, oh. Yeah. So this is my Tom Craft room. I was pretty far in Tom Craft in this pack. And there's a cellar here. Also Timecraft and some portals. Oh, Twilight Forest. And door outside. Let's go to the tech base first. Oh, by the way, I am wearing modular, uh, modular armor. So that's why I'm so fast. As you can see. So this is the tech base, now we in the other building. Um, lots of rotary craft. I li really like that mod. Um, industrial craft here. Mod spawner. Do I turn this on? Slide. Oh yeah, I probably remote order. Was that it? Oh, that's for the boring machine. Not sure how I turn this one on. Um, yeah, magical crops. And uh, lots of rotary craft again. And this was my main uh, tech base, the big reactor. Uh, extractors. They are even working. You're the right. Yeah, lots of ore processing. Oh, the uh, and schistics. Here, the open computers. Uh, oh, the boring machine is on. Let's turn it off. Spawner here. You can s set the spawner on. Let's go check it in. Yeah, I believe it's already working. Let's see. Oh, I need to go one more time. Yeah. It's working. Um. So you use this uh, computer, open computers for him to monitor the status of that and control it. Rotary craft stuff. I forgot half of how that works. And applied energy sticks. Okay, so there was also Rotary craft uh, water mill for power generation. 
and also on the roof. Let's sleep first. How do I get on the roof? Not like that. Let's just go outside. Oh yeah, I think I removed those. There were some um, solar uh, solar generators here, but uh, they caused some lag, and I think I just removed all of that in favor of other power gens. Um, okay, let's go to another place. So this is back to the three base, and this is the four base. This is a new base that I made. With uh, applied energetics again. And that's to go outside. And here you can yeah, go, go down to other rooms which aren't really finished or used yet. Okay, and here is the the big mining operation. The boring machine from Rotary Craft. So it makes huge tunnels like this because it's a horizontal miner. Can I turn it on now? I wonder. Let's see. Ah, actually it's working. That's right for energy. Oh yeah, things are coming in. Let's turn it off again. Oh, the, oh yeah, that's how you can control it. Yeah, no, it's off. Had a lot of fun in this world. Um, let's go back to the tree base because I was also doing mistcraft. No RF two dimensions yet, of course. Um, that's for this. Yeah, I also did a lot of bee stuff here. Okay, nice dimension. Miscraft is a fun mod actually. I kinda liked it. But anyway, that's it for this world. On to the next one. So, my next modded world, uh, my next important modded world was 1.7.10. So this is the first uh, mod pack. I played s various other things in between, but uh, nothing very crucial. This was a bigger one. I started this with my son. Um, so there's also a chromatic craft. Never got far into that, I must say. But it's it was included. Um, let's see. Oh, can I navigate to the more important areas? Portal world. Okay. Suppose it's loading. But it's taking its time. Okay, so we got there. So this is basically uh, a, a miscraft dimension. With various portals. Um, let's go to this one first. So this is also in the overworld. It's not far from the Earth starting base. Um, so here 
Let's check the view. There's a mountain there. Some chromatic craft stuff. Ender pearls. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. were the days where you could easily get ender pearls. Lots of crops from Pam's Harvest Craft. And also Air of Tools was also in this mod pack. Um, yeah. So let's see. But most of my navigation RF tools was added later. So most of my navigation was through this. Um, and my most important base was the machine world. Which was another uh, miscraft dimension. So lots of machines here. Energistics. Yeah, the supply to energistics is here. And sugar cane farm. So this is void world, void miscraft world. Apparently I'm hungry, I just noticed. Uh, and I don't seem to have any food on me. Let's see if I can quickly fix that. Oh, okay, this is tiny. Um, apple is a possibility. Nothing more nourishing. Let's see. It's been a while since I played this, so not sure what exactly is available. Seems it's mostly apples, so let's do that. <laughs> But that's really not good food. Is there nothing better? Oh, I can make bread. Um, do I have... I have one bread. Let's eat that for now. Okay, so this is... Uh, yeah, that's the portal room. So there are some RF2 screens here. It's also it also has rotary craft. This is the mob farm which is currently off. How do I turn it on again? Yeah. Oh that's to turn the light on. Ah, yeah, it was an Enderman farm. And this case this chest can't be opened. Oh yeah, has tons of Enderman. Okay, let's... And yes, this is a... Wither Spawner... A uh, uh, Blaze Spawner, sorry. So let's go up. What's he doing here? I guess they sometimes spawn here. It, this Spiscaft I mentioned has a problem that... Uh, Oh yeah, there was a cellar here as well. Yeah. And that's the top. Okay. But here... Yeah, there was this area as well. Yeah, we have tons of... things to do. You get to here. Crafting terminal. Let's, yeah, let's make some bread. Okay. Various portals. Hard to read. Uh, yeah, this was all my RF2 dimension stuff. So, Miscraft was first, and then later I added RF2 dimension. Why can't we enter this? Oh, that was weird. Oh, this is the very old energetic generator. Looks so bad. What's there? 
just class. Okay, these were things working for us. So let's see. Overworld. Up. Nether. Islands. Let's see. Oh yeah. I forgot about this. That was an this is an RF tools dimension. And we have dimension monitor. Okay, so let's put that in my old part so I know that it's okay. So it was a dimension with floating islands. And yeah, to uh, quantum link chamber to access my applied energistic system. So I have jetpack. It was a nice dimension. Uh, where was the entrance again? So this was was a one of the final things I was working working on and this is dialed something yeah okay now I'm back here so this was my effect my portal room not sure if the nether had something yeah the green is if the dimension is loaded this dimension isn't loaded I had some trouble getting this uh, this portal, uh, this world to work again. There were some biome conflicts, which I don't understand because it was working earlier. Uh, I think I used an ender query here to to get rid of the lava, so that's why this is all stone. Yeah. Okay. I think I showed the most important things of this world. Spent quite some time on it. So one thing I wanted to show you is how this looks from a distance. I was pretty proud of this, this base. Spent a lot of time on it. But that's it for this world. On to the next. So, this is another world, 1.7.10. It's one that I played with my, my kids. So here's our starting uh, base, or the mining area there. And... That's, that building was where my, my daughter lived. And my son had an area next to this house, which was his house. Let's go down here. Yeah, that was just a little house with a bed and some... Apparently... Yeah, he moved everything. I remember. So, a big reactor. Um, yeah, dim dimension stuff, crafter. Uh, ore processing. Render error. Um, yeah, lots of stuff here, and this is dialed to uh, my tech base. Oh, lots of things there. So this is uh, a tech base that I had that I created. It's not far from so or old. The other base that is there. There's some deco craft stuff here. I also like this uh, for sound. This use the Atmos mod. Oh. Let's go check this from the outside before I investigate the rest. I think this.
Yeah, so this is the base was nicely embedded into the mountain. Uh, we go to there next. The other base is somewhere over there. So, yeah, there's a bed there, um, so this is the portal room, here is a very big, big reactor. The main power source of the entire operations. And, yeah, ore processing. Stone generator, sand, induction smelter. Most are not enabled. Let's see what's down there. I think, yeah, that's access to the big reactor. A capacitor bank. So, we oh yeah, in a cellar. Dialing, dialing things. Um, so let's go up. Yeah, okay, they've been there. So this is the the big. Uh, machine and uh, applied energetic system. Uh, tons of stuff. Automation for applied energetics. Uh, we go there in a moment. And this was the liquid uh, processing chamber. Um, apparently, there was no oh yeah, there's a stack. Uh, I missed it. So resonant ender, energized glowstone, redstone, gelid criterium, experience. So all these things. Again. Oh yeah, just jump. Okay. So lots of things here. And I also this is one of the newest things that I started. Let's check it out. Let's see where we end up. Basically working for us. So yeah, this was my last project. I was making something very big here, but it's not finished. Oh uh, yeah, the building guide. I don't think the builder was here yet. So here is another processing room. Um, I wanted to check for the end mining. So mining. Tile to mining and mining. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's a mining dimension, basically. Okay. Let's see. Uh, my son was making something. It has power.
So on that screen I could check if the dimensions were okay. I'm not sure what he actually was making. Yeah, sounds when you fall down. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, it was also connected to the main system. Okay, not much to do here. Let's go back. It was not finished. I think there was one dimension. Um, no, I don't remember. There was probably probably something, but as you can see, we got pretty far in this. It was a fun world. Okay, so this is another world that I started with my son. Um, it's actually based on the on the edge mod pack that I created at some point. It's a bit uh, a harder mod pack. Um, yeah. Also, as uh, th that was that was created with the builder. So this is the first mod pack that I played, where I had the builder um, available. So let's see what there is to see here. Um, oh yeah, this was also with uh, magnetic craft. Lots of uh, complicated uh, multi blocks. Also, how do I get? Yeah, is it here? There was a big tower. Let's check the view. Had some trouble. Also had some trouble getting this mod back to work uh, again after so much time. Seems even without doing. I had. I, yeah, I actually had to up, update some mods. Uh, terminal expansion, so on. And no idea why. So yeah, this is immersive engineering uh, and the windmill. Very high up to get a lot of wind. Yeah, really high now. Um, I think I better enable. Yeah, because it didn't seem like I had feather falling now. Okay, so how do we get to the main base? I think there was a teleporter somewhere. Probably down here. What's in here? Oh yeah. Shield with an Enderman spawner. Yeah, that's nice. And the tree form. Okay, let's go to the other base, home, um, this one, yeah, okay, so now we are in the big building, um, if you go look there, you can see the other base, that's where I came from, with the big tower, so I was really proud of the design of this one, spent quite some time on it. On it. Uh, also applied energistics here. Power generators, gear swapper. So yeah, this main hall, I think it looks nice. Big machine for processing. And this is the big, uh, the big area, the big hall with some green stuff in the middle. And then there are elevators. Let's go up first. Um, not much to see here, just a few. And this is the roof. If you could look here, I think you can see. Yeah, you, 
can see down. Let's check. Yeah, that's the old building. Here we see the design with the tri tri th that shape. Uh, how, how is it called? I think I like this a lot. It was a very nice building. And you can go down, and this is an uh, underground area with the deep resonance reactor. Yeah, still working pretty well, it seems. And this is unused as of now. There was also something going on beneath here. So these are all processing machines. Um, mm, not here. I, I think. Was it this side then? No, apparently not. I, I, I must misremember. And how do I get up here again? Yeah, like that. Um, going to check if the, where's the teleportation. That's the receiver. I don't think I have a way. But I can go. Yeah, just these three. I don't think I did a lot of dimension things here yet. But I, I like this building. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. So this is another world. This is the first world, or the first big world at least, in 1.8.9. So didn't use this version a lot, but uh, at least I made this world. So let's check it out. Uh, yeah, that's just. So this is the starting base. So nothing fancy. Uh, it also has, has Project E, and of course it has uh, RF tools. Um, let's try a few things. So this is some home I colonized. Um, let's see exactly where I am. I don't have anything to fly apparently. Okay, so that was not an option here. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, that was one. This was one of s s the dungeons. I think I'm not sure if I actually had something going on there. No, apparently not. Um, mountain. Yeah, this was a base that I made very far away. Uh, it's not finished. Yeah, it's much less techy, more uh, organic. But I do have some machines, Mulder storage. Yeah, not much going on here yet. Oh yeah, I made some chisel and bits landscape thing. There's also chisel and bits. And uh, let's see what else there is to go to. Guardian, probably a guardian farm. Oh yeah.
Yeah, I did some stuff here. With guardians. Um. It's not completely finished. And I'm quickly going to get lost if I just wander around like that. Okay. So, tower set. Oh yeah, this was uh, another base here. Oh, that's the shield. Maybe this, but yeah, that's those are the lights. Yeah, it's garden spanner. Okay, see now. Okay, and some stuff here. Some deep resonance things going on. Oh yeah, and here was the the generator heavily protected. Was this needed? Mining. Um, well, it's not on. Can I turn it on? Let's try it out. I think it's probably this. Let's see. That's a radiation monitor. It's not doing anything. Junk loader. Not sure exactly how it's probably only going to start uh, generating if it's it runs on a out of power. That's probably the thing. As of now, it doesn't seem to do that. Okay. That's uh, for this world. So, this is my uh, last one I will do. Uh, it's actually one that you may have seen already because I actually did a let's play on this. Uh, but I found it interesting to show you again because it's been a while. And it's an extremely hard mod pack. I did go out of my way to add everything that would my life miserable. Um, so you see I have little life, there are no infinite water sources, I have thirst, I have uh, hunger. Um, yeah, this is not the mod pack that you really can play in hardcore because dying is way too easy. But I did get quite far, um, so let's check the outside as much as I dare. So this is really a very hostile world. I, uh, I had to use this kind of lighting because torches are extinguished. Um, so, and also there are storms here, which in contrast with my hardcore let's play that I'm doing right now, actually do uh, destroy stuff. Let's see if I can go out safely. So you see there are areas destroyed by storms. Right there. So that's how you can do lights. Uh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, oops, let's go inside if I can. And that was a special kind of creeper. Okay, I survived that. You also have to keep temperature in mind, uh, so if you go stand next to fire, you will get hotter and so on. Let's show some of the areas. The nether is almost impossible, because it's too hot. Yeah, you see how I do lighting with uh, torches. This is a farm I made. Um, sure if it was actually working pretty well. Here I had some crops. Also, you had to purify water before you could 
drink it. Oh yeah, this comes out. And Botanica. It was a fun world, but uh, really very tough. Hard to stay alive. So that's it for a uh, trip through the past. It uh, can be fun to relive, re-see your old worlds. Uh, I like to keep them because it's uh, it can be fun really. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments, feel free to ask. So see you next time. Bye bye.